Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, for those of you sitting in the first 15 rows, you are in the soda zone. There's a good chance that during our experience today, you'll be getting very, very wet. If you want to avoid being soaked with ice cold salt water, you might want to move to higher and drier ground. The ocean covers over 70% of the Earth's surface and is essential to all life, both in the sea and on the land. There's one animal that is the perfect ambassador for the ocean, and that is the Orsinus orca, or killer whale. In just a few minutes, you'll meet Sea World's killer whales. First, though, let's find out more about these remarkable animals. Orsinus orca or the killer whale, is the most widely distributed mammal on Earth. They can be found throughout the ocean, all around the world, including in the Arctic, the Atlantic, the Southern, the Indian, and the Pacific Oceans. No other single marine species lives in as many different ocean habitats or is as directly reliant on as many different types of marine life as the killer whale. More than any other marine animal, or Silas Orca is the very embodiment of our shared global ocean. Until about two decades ago, scientists didn't know that there were actually several different varieties or ecotypes of killer whales. With effort and observation, however, we discovered that there are actually ten distinct ecotypes, each differing in size, behavior, diet, lifestyle, and appearance. A striking characteristic of the orca is their black and white skin. This camouflage is called disruptive coloration. In a murky environment, this coloration can make them difficult to detect. Killer whales are countershaded. Their top surface is darker than their surface underneath. From below, looking up, they blend in with the light from above. From above, looking down, they're invisible against the dark depths. Killer whales are warm-blooded and breathe air just like we do. Killer whales are the largest members of the Delphinidae, or dolphin. As you can see, they have impressive physical characteristics. Orcas have keen eyesight, both above and below the water. The dorsal fin of an adult male can be up to six feet in height. The powerful pectoral flippers and tail flip can propel them through the water at a high rate of speed with great maneuverability. Their top speed is nearly 30 miles per hour. The rails use echolocation to hunt and to communicate. Communication is also accomplished through tail slaps, breaching, and mobilizations. You'll experience a variety of natural killer whale behaviors during orca encounter today. We ask our whales to replicate natural behaviors such as breaching, spot hopping, and tail slaps. While awe inspiring and entertaining for our guests, these behaviors are also essential to maintaining the health and well being of the killer whales in our camp. remains to be understood regarding the Orsinus orca. One thing we do know, however, is that across the globe, they face real challenges as the general health of the prey populations and habitats on which killer whales depend suffer due to changes in the environment. In just a few moments, you'll encounter SeaWorld's killer whales and learn even more about these fascinating animals. As the most widely distributed mammal on Earth, the killer whale is uniquely positioned to represent the beauty, power, and fertility of the ocean. Hello everyone, my name is Mimi, and on behalf of our entire
by our Killer Rail training team, I'd like to welcome you to Orca Encounter. You know, being a part of SeaWorld's mission is more than just a job. We are proud of what we do, and it's a privilege for us to care for, build relationships with, teach, and learn from our whales. Now more than ever, we are honored to share what we've learned with all of you here today and for many more years to come. Thank you so much for joining us, and we hope you enjoy Orca Encounter.
incredible size, speed, power, and problem-solving abilities. You know, these behaviors help keep our whales active and engaged. Serial killer whales have inspired generations to care about our natural world, and we're excited to share their story with all of you here today. Killer whales are the ocean's top predator. They use cooperation and communication, not just size and strength, to take their place at the top of the ocean's threat. At the bottom are small animals, like krill. At the top, the apex predator, the killer whale. Curious animals, too. 
or each perhaps a scratch match. But for the most part, they have to communicate to their entire pod that they have the prize. Let's give it up for our Mokia. Well, that's one way to introduce yourself. How about a round of applause for Katina and Alani, Malia, and our audience volunteers. Well, SeaWorld's research and observation on the killer whales under our care has helped shed light on many mysteries about these amazing animals. For example, we know that a pregnant killer whale has a gestation period of 17 months. It's information that would be impossible to gain out in the ocean. Some information, however, can only be obtained through field observation. That's why SeaWorld partners with organizations like the Norwegian Orca Survey and NOAA to help advance global education about killer whales. Killer whales are powerful animals, and perhaps the best expression of that power could be seen when they hunt. Killer whales stand apart. They have no natural predators, and just about any other ocean animal can be their dinner. Depending on where they live and their chosen prey, they've developed some epic hunting techniques. Off the coast of South America, killer whales will teach themselves, riding in on waves just long enough to catch a prey. They'll also create waves that knock animals like penguins or seals from ice cliffs. Most importantly, they cooperate, communicate, and coordinate as a team. Here's footage of killer whales corralling a school of herring. A whale dips in and feeds, while the other whales keep the fish together with swipes of their tail flukes. So killer whales create waves to hunt, and they use their powerful tail flukes to stun their prey. Now you're about to see a demonstration. For our whales, it means a fun activity session. But for all of you, it means it's time to get wet! When it comes down to it, 
killer whales are not the most powerful animal in the ocean.
history to attract our latest restaurant. Find out more about the animals in our food. Thanks again, everyone, and we hope you enjoy the rest of your day at Seabird.